Once you have logged into the ShopeeFlow Shopify app, in the opening screen, click Connect to a Webflow Project button, and in the pop-up dialog, click Add New Webflow Project button. This will open a new window where we select the Webflow project that we want to connect to this Shopify store. If you're not currently logged into your Webflow account, you will be asked to log in. I am going to select the Webflow project that I'm working on from the list and click Authorize App button. We're done. Now we can close this window and click Save button. We are ready. Let's now click the Connect button and we're done with the installation. These simple steps authorized my Webflow project to access this store's information and also installed the ShopeeFlow Webflow app to this Webflow project. Let's click Open in Webflow link. It opens the project in Webflow Designer. This is an empty Webflow project with no components or collections in it. Let's now open the ShopeeFlow app. I go to the Apps tab on the left sidebar and launch my newly installed ShopeeFlow Webflow app. First thing is first, I'm going to complete my installation of ShopeeFlow on my Webflow project. Click the Installation and turn on the Auto Install. By doing this, we are injecting ShopeeFlow installation code snippet to our site settings. To proceed, I check the I understand checkbox and click the Save button. Now I have to publish my project. This has automatically installed ShopeeFlow to my entire project. Let's confirm our installation by going to the Site Settings and opening the Custom Code section. Our code snippet is here. I go back to Designer, and in the home screen, click Import and Manage Shopify Data. In this screen, I'm going to map the Shopify data to the collections in my Webflow CMS. ShopeeFlow automatically stages the creation of new CMS collections for the Shopify data. First two of these collections are going to store the product and variant information. Other four collections are going to store the taxonomies, namely collections, tags, vendors, and product types. Once I click the Create Collections button, ShopeeFlow is going to create all these six collections and reference them to the product collection using the reference fields. Let's proceed. The CMS collections are created. Once the collections are created, I am asked to republish my project. Let's do it and validate our collections. Let's open the CMS and confirm that all the collections are in place. And here they are. Now let's go back to the ShopeeFlow Webflow app and continue the import process. If there are products that you like to exclude from the import process, you can select them down here in the Exclude Products section. Likewise, if you want to exclude the syncing of any individual fields, we can unselect them in the Manage Fields section. I'm going to leave my setup the way it is and proceed with my import. Everything looks good. Let's start importing the Shopify data. Depending on the number of the Shopify products, this process may take a while. So I am going to fast forward this part. But in the meantime, you can take a look at your CMS collections and see the incoming items. My Shopify product data is transferred to Webflow CMS along with the variant information and taxonomies. All these collection items are synced to my Shopify store data in real time. Any changes I make in Shopify to this products will be immediately reflected in the Webflow CMS. The next steps will be taking an in-depth look at the CMS structure. 